Well, happy National Wine Drinking Day. I personally don't drink wine, so that's why I don't have a glass here. It makes me tired, it does nothing for me. I don't know about you guys, I've tried. I know it's the classy thing to do, and a lot of my girlfriends, they go wine tasting, etc. Does nothing for me. Give me a shot of tequila and I'm happy. Get this, because I'm just freaking pissed reading this. The US taxpayers are funding the Wuhan lab. And we already knew that, right? We already knew that we had been funding them. We have plans to fund them through 2024. One, it doesn't make sense to me. We all know that the coronavirus is patented and the patent ends in 666, which is a whole other concern. But why the hell are we creating viruses? What, to just see how people's bodies would react to them? It's the craziest thing ever. Did you guys know that the Zika virus, AIDS, they're patented? Why? I'm gonna tell you what, I have a major heart on for Senator Ted Cruz out of Texas. He has proven himself to be a complete badass and a true patriot. And do you know what the peaceful love unity left has done? They have now, they have his address, they're outside his home with signs saying resign. He actually just had to have a police escort off of a plane that he flew and no, it wasn't a private jet like the other pricks flying around town while they talk about uh, carbon emissions. The last I recall in schools, we were taught to see someone for who they are, their personality, what they bring to the table, what makes them special, unique characteristics, but not now. Now it's all about their skin color. They're teaching kids in new videos being aired in elementary schools across the United States to identify each other via their skin color. I have always loved Dolly Parton and actually something happened just recently that really solidified why I've always thought that she was just this amazing woman. And it's that they were going to build in the state of Tennessee near the Capitol, they were going to put up a statue of Dolly Parton and she respectfully declined and said that with everything going on in this country and in the world, it would not be appropriate. And she asked them to remove the bill that was being discussed that would have put this statue up. So good for her. She's telling them basically to focus on what really matters. Okay, so the RNC just announced that they have put together an election integrity committee to ensure that there is integrity in elections moving forward. Come on, you know what, here's my thing. The GOP's dead, screw the Republican Party. Too little, too late. These spineless bastards should have stood up and ensured this didn't happen in the first place. And when it did, they should have fought like hell to make it right. Okay, I spoke about Ted Cruz a little bit earlier, and here's another reason I love him. You know, as leaders, we need to be able to admit when we have made a mistake. And that's something that shows personal growth. And for him, he did fly to Cancun. His rationale was that his daughters were going on vacation, so he flew them there. I believe he was there less than 24 hours. Yes, while he was flying to Cancun, Texas did suffer a major winter storm and there is damage all over the state. I'm in Oregon, we have damage here too. People are freaking out on him and he said, hindsight being 2020, I wouldn't have gone. And you guys, that's such a small, it's one sentence, one sentence, but so impactful because so often, and especially from the left, so often leaders make mistakes and they never own them. I mean, just think about your marriage and your relationships. Honestly, for me, when my husband just admits that he's made a mistake, it's squashed. It's squashed. And if people would just do that more often, it'd be a much better place. There is a very disturbing video available for you to go and watch. Left leaders, they basically say that unborn babies are pretend life. And this is concerning the heartbeat bill. And they are saying that COVID vaccines and mask mandates are much more important. And then they walk out, just like they do out of the abortion clinic, I'm sure.
I'm gonna leave you with Parlor is back, baby. And they have openly invited President Donald Trump to be an account holder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're not gonna shut him down or censor him. Anyways, I'm on Parlor. if you wanna find me. Uh, I had offloaded my app, so I better go get her back up and running. <laughs>